the project is now completed. How do we feel, what is it, two years later or a year and a half later? Year and a half later. The project is complete now. A lot of work has happened along Rideau Street. This is the stretch between Dalhousie and Sussex. It was where most of the activity is. You have the Rideau Center, the, the main access into the Byward Market. To share with us uh, the vision and also kind of the features of, of the project. Yeah, when we started the project, we started on April 26, 2020, last year. Um, it, we have the vision that w when the project will be completed, it will, it will be an inviting place for everyone to come and look at Rideau Street and, how, uh, and shop locally here. Ottawa's main street. Yeah. And uh, once the job is completed now, you can see the wider sidewalks. Um, I think it's the Rideau Street has the wider sidewalks in Ottawa We're now. We're proud of that. Yeah. We're proud of that. <laughs> and uh, about 14 trees. We have catenary lighting on William Street. Also the bicycle infrastructure from uh, Ogilvy Square up to um, Sussex. Uh, Sussex intersection. And uh, all the new light poles, uh, new pedestrian light poles, and uh, they are all anti-adhesive coating. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's the unique feature in there. We have uh, about seven benches. They are all anti-graffiti coated. Also the new three streams recycle bins, uh, garbage receptacles, which you can see here. A lot of underground infrastructure that we don't see, but what people see is what you've just described. You're right, uh, massive pedestrian realm, uh, sh shorter crosswalks that are elevated. Yeah. Uh, we have a much narrower street than what we had before. Uh, even the bus environment has shifted. We have dedicated bus stops that are in different locations. We no longer have the STO uh, yeah. on the corridor as well. So there's been uh, quite tr the transformation of Rideau Street. It's Ottawa's main street. It continues to be, as we can see behind us, very yeah. busy. Yeah. Also, you can see there are, there are customized bus shelters, which they have transit information screens and transit information panels inside them. So they tell you the maps and, and, the, and the real time when the buses are coming. So, Which is an interesting feature, right? You see that in the LRT when it's running, yeah. but when it's not running uh, on the bus, on the buses, you see exactly your next bus is coming in in say three minutes in real time. Yeah. Every time we provide an update on the construction of Rideau Street, you get comments relating to what you see as residents and businesses in the area. Obviously, we, are, we have big city issues in one geographic area as it comes to mental health, addictions, housing crisis. We can expect better of our capital and we must do better as a city. We have to have targeted investments in housing. We are facing climate change impacts. It, it does get warm here in the city's core in the summer. Lot line to lot line buildings, a lot of hard surfaces. Tr urban trees are super important. We have 14 along this stretch of Rideau Street within the construction project. No bike infrastructure was planned on Rideau. When we reopened the plans for Rideau, post the sinkhole, we thought it was very important to bring in bike infrastructure. It is incomplete, but there's amazing opportunities. West of here, connecting all through uh, Sussex Avenue in front of Parliament Precinct, and south of here, getting through Nicholas all the way to the Laurier bike. Thank you for giving us the opportunity and I really want to thank your office, Mayor's office, and the city senior management team of my, my department. Also the contractor, Parsons, the design team, all the subcontractors involved with this project and people who are directly or indirectly not involved with this project, the business owners. I want to thank everyone involved in the project. Rito Street is now completed. Finally, many will say, come and enjoy, come and support our local businesses, and obviously continue to share your thoughts on Rideau Street and the Byron Market.